Welcome everyone to this demo on the Maven and the Jenkins integration here. Now in this one we are going to talk about that how exactly we can integrate both the J Maven and the Jenkins here. So just to implement the CI processes over here. Now what is the purpose of Jenkins here? Now Jenkins is uh, normally a kind of a CI tool which we use for performing the build automations and the test cases automation there. It's one of the open source tool which is available there and one of the most popular CI tool also available into the market. Now this tool makes it easier for the developers to integrate the changes to the project here. So we can easily integrate the changes and whatever the modifications we want to manage, we will be able to do that with the help of Jenkins. Now Jenkins also achieves the continuous integration with the help of couple of uh, plugins. Each and every tool which you want to integrate have its own plugins which is available there. For example, you want to integrate Maven, we have a Maven plugin in Jenkins which you can install, you can configure. In that case, you will be able to use the Maven there. Now you can uh, deploy the Maven uh, to build tool onto the Jenkins server and then you can prepare or you can configure any number of uh, Maven jobs in case of Jenkins. So uh, what exactly the Maven uh, or the Jenkins really do is the Maven when integrates with Jenkins through the particular plugin so you can able to automate the builds because for automation the build you require some integration with the Maven and that integration is what we are getting from the uh, Maven plugin. So in Jenkins you have to install the Maven plugin and once the plugin is installed so what you can do is that you can proceed with the configurations you can proceed with the setup and this uh, particular plugin can help you to build out some of the Java based projects which is available there in the git repositories and once that is done you will be able to go ahead and you will be able to process a complete integration of Maven within Jenkins right so let's see that how we can go for the integration now I have already installed the Maven onto the uh, Linux virtual machine uh, which we are using so using the app utility or using the yum utility you can actually download the Jenkins package and the Maven package onto the uh, server onto the virtual machine and now I'm going to proceed further with the plugin installation and the configuration of a Maven project so I have a github repository which is having a Maven project Maven uh, uh, source code and the Mavenized test cases over there so let's see let's log into the uh, Jenkins and see that how it works so this is the Jenkins interface which we have over here. Now in this one what we can do is that we can create some Maven jobs over here and once those jobs are created we will be able to do a custom build onto uh, this Jenkins. So first of all we have to install the uh, particular plugin here. For that we have to go to the manage Jenkins. In manage Jenkins you have the manage plugins option there. So you have to click on that. Now here you will be having different tabs like updates, available, installed, advanced, all these different tabs are available there. So what you can do is that you can click on the available one. When you go to the available tab, so what will happen that here you can actually put up that what exactly uh, plugin you want to fetch here. So I can put up plugin called Maven. Now you can see that the very first one the Maven integration tool is available so I'm going to select that particular plugin and click on download now and install after restart. Now once that is done so what will happen that the plugin will be downloaded but in order to reflect the changes we have to do a couple of restart. Now for that you don't have to go to the uh, virtual machine you have the option here itself that uh, will allow you to do the uh, restart over here when you click on this button. So you check this option and say that restart Jenkins when the installation is done. So what will happen that the installation will be automatically attempted whenever the uh, particular plugin installation is completed here. So you just have to refresh the page again and uh, you will be able to see that uh, the particular Jenkins is being processed as such here. Right. So you can see that the screen is coming up that Jenkins is restarting so it will take a couple of five to six seconds to do the restart and uh, the login screen to come up again over there you can do the refresh also if you feel automatically it will be reloaded once the Jenkins is ready but sometimes we have to refresh it so that we can get the screen over there so once the login is done so my Maven integration is done so next thing which I will be doing is that I will be creating a Maven related project so I'm going to put the admin user 
and the password so whatever the user and password you have created so you are going to put that so that you will be able to log into the Jenkins portal now this is the Jenkins which is available here so all you have to do is that you have to click on create a new job or new item so both the option is pretty much same only so here you will be able to see a maven uh, project here so I'm going to select like maven build that's the name which I'm going to give here and the maven project I'm going to select here and then press OK now here you will be providing the first of all the repository from which you will be checking out the source code now I can have a discard old builds over here so if I feel that I want to have like local rotation so all the previous uh, builds should be deleted so I'm just saying that dates to keep a build should be 10 over here and uh, the number of builds which I need to keep over here is 20 you can adjust these settings according to your requirement but uh, over here we are you know doing a kind of configurations which we are trying to do a lot of configurations and settings here so these are the uh, particular settings which we are looking forward as such over here so now we are going to have the uh, log rotation here so we can have it like how many days we want to keep and how many number of builds we want to keep here so both the values we are providing over here and then now I'm going to put the git uh, integration here like the repo URL so I have this repository here in which I have the Java source code and some uh, particular uh, JUnit test cases and all I also have the uh, particular source code and it's kind of a maven project so that's what I'm trying to clone over here with the help of this plugin so this plugin will download this repository it will clone it onto the Jenkins server and then depending on our integration with maven the maven build will be triggered here so now I'm going to process with the uh, maven here so you can see here that it's saying that uh, Jenkins needs to know that where the maven is installed because that maven version it needs to configure it needs to process on that part so I'll just do the save over here and uh, or I can click on this uh, tool configuration so I'll just save uh, or do the apply click on this uh, tool configuration here now here you have the options like where you can have the JDK installation but what happens that thing Jenkins is running there so JDK is automatically installed so in the tools configuration you don't have to put the JDK configuration but at least for the maven configurations you have to provide that where exactly the maven is available there so I'm just saying that maven three I want to process and the latest maven Apache web server I want to configure here so I just want to have like I just want to save this setting so that it will be automatically download the latest version Apache 3.6.3 version there and that same should be utilized over here in this case now I'm just going to the maven build uh, configuration here and click on the configure part so these git repository is available here and uh, in the build step it automatically builds up that uh, what a maven environment you want to select so you see that previously since I did not configure my maven environment so it was throwing an error but once I have configured that uh, I have to download it during the build process or before the build that utility should be downloaded so instead of uh, doing the physical installation of maven on the server what I have chosen over here is that I have selected the particular version like I have selected that a uh, particular 3.6.3 .3, uh, version should be installed for the maven purposes over here now once that is done I'm going to put the particular steps over here you can have it like clean install you can have clean compile test clean test or test alone you can give it's just a part of the uh, setup or the goals which you want to configure here it by default says that pom.xml file is the current one in the current directory you need to refer you need to pick on that one what it's up to you only that how you want to configure and how you want to process as such this information so according to your requirement you can say that okay I just want to go for these particular goals and uh, you can say like save over here the particular configuration will be saved now you can just click on the bell now and you will be able to see that the first of all the git clone will happen and then the desired maven executable will be uh, the build tool will be configured and according to that it will be processed here so you can see here that uh, the maven is uh, getting downloaded it's getting uh, configured here and once it's configured because I have explained over there that 3.6.3 version I have to select so that specific version will be configured and will be picked up over here now even if you don't have the maven installed on the physical machine on which the Jenkins is running still you will be able to do the 
the processing using this particular component here. So you can see here that we have some particular test cases executed and in the end we are able to get a particular artifacts also there since I did not uh, call upon the package or install goal that's the reason why the uh, particular artifacts was not generated var file or jar file whatever the packaging mode is available at farm level but still what happens that my test cases do gets executed and that's what I have got over here in this case. So this is a kind of a mechanism where we feel that how we can configure a git repository once the git repository is configured you are going to integrate the maven plugin in the maven plugin you are going to configure in the tools configuration that this and so and so version I want to configure to run my build and once that is done after that you just have to trigger the build and uh, click on the build now option and once that is done you will be able to get a particular full-fledged build or compilation happened onto the Jenkins and this log will give you the complete details that what are the different steps which has happened on this one so this is how we really integrate both Maven and Jenkins with each other right so this was the demo in which we saw that how we can actually integrate the Maven with Jenkins here so that's it for this one thanks Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.